Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back for another video. In this video, we're going to talk about noise. When I first got these images, you can see there is noise on the images. However, when I look at the reconstruction images, you can see that there is just noise in a certain area in the lower part. So if the images has too low as a noise, it should be noise all over the image, right? But in this image, it's only on the lower part. So I knew right away that something was wrong here. I do have a solution, but how it works, I'm not really sure. Stick around and I will show you. For those who are new, my name is Bakhtin again. I'm an Amarai radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering everything from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So I'm going to go right away to a presentation where I made for you guys to show you the solution. So let's go over there. All right, so as you can see here, I, I just call this a strange noise, right? So we, this was done in 1.5 touch on the Siemens scanner software Access 70. So like I told you in the beginning, this part looks strange. And then what I did was, firstly, I was thinking about, did I have, did I need more SNR? But then on the end, you can see there's a lot of signal back here and signal up here. But there's some noise kicking in the top there. And in the middle is perfectly. Then my thought was about the elements. What I was using here was a head neck 20 channel along with the spam 32. As you can see here, the elements in the front, front part is on here. And the back part is there on the head. And then you have the spam 1. This is something we've been thought, right? So your field of view, whatever is near your field of view, you should use those elements. And it's exactly what I did. It's also auto coil positioning, as you can see. So I was running it, didn't think about it, but the noise came. Starting all over again, I was thinking about doing something, uh, one click solution, which gave images like this. You can see now the noise is gone. The images is still good in the back and the up part is good. And now the image looks much, much better. So what did I do? What I did do was that I had more elements on. So I turned on elements uh, from the head, more on there, more on there, and there, and there. It looks strange, right? It shouldn't, usually it shouldn't be like that. Usually you should only use those elements which is in your field of view because you've been taught that using more elements without your field of view, it could cause more noise, more problems. But in this case, it didn't. It's not like you should do this every time, but you should follow what you've been taught, uh, like with the elements. But when cases like this occur, first thing in your mind is just think about the elements, tick on more, and maybe that will work, just like this one. And I know that people who are doing dynamic pro stat, they click on more uh, to gain more SNR. And um, yeah, just uh, tips I have to you for today. Well, I hope this video is valuable. Nonetheless, if something like this occur, think about the auto coil, the elements, Last thing I want to say before we close up, have you seen something like this before where you have to put on more elements? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will get a ding ding whenever new videos for me are coming up. Until next time, I catch up with you. Peace out.